Ik wens jullie heel veel plezier met Karen Lovely.
Thank you. All right, uh, this next song that we're going to do is, uh, you know, you, you might have everything going for you in the world. You might have a nice house, a good job, money in the bank. And if you don't have someone in your life, you don't have the person that you love, then all that stuff is meaningless. So this song is called Everything Means Nothing. Okay? Yeah. By us, I mean me. <laughs> um, so this is, I think, my fifth trip to the Netherlands. I absolutely love it here. And uh, I was here a few years ago, 
and I had a couple of days off in Amsterdam. But where I grew up in New England, there was no such thing as free time. You should always be busy. We had the saying, uh, idle hands were the devil's work or something like that. Anyway, uh, I was the oldest of nine children, and we always had something to do. If we were standing around doing nothing, my mom would give us ten things to do. So most people would be like, yeah, I'm in Amsterdam, I'm going to go to a coffee shop, except I don't do that. And uh, I thought, well, I'm here, I'll work, I'll write a song. So I called my friend Misha Den Haring, who's a Dutch musician that I worked with, and uh, I went over to his studio and we wrote this next song. And uh, of course, being from New England, I can't celebrate how great Amsterdam is, I have to be sad that I'm not someplace else. It's a lot. I was very happy to be in Amsterdam. But anyway, the song is called A Better Place. And um, where I live in Portland, Oregon, I'm right next to the train tracks. And so the train goes by my house maybe six times a day. And I tend to stay up till like four or five in the morning. And sometimes, you know, it's a lonely place to be because most of the world is asleep. And when that train would go by my house, I would think about all the people that were traveling from maybe Los Angeles all the way up to British Columbia and I would wonder what their stories were because in the blues world the train was a way for you to escape from wherever you were to something better to a better place you're going to take the train to a better place so that's what this song is about it's called A Better Place and there you go
out of water. That's how I feel a lot of times. <laughs> Do you know the expression? Do you have that? Is there equivalent in Dutch? So fish out of water is you're, um, you know, you're, you're not in a comfortable situation. Right? You don't fit. You know what happens when you take a fish out of water. <laughs> I'm going to work in this jacket. <laughs> this isn't work, this is fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
Singer-songwriter in his own right, and I'm gonna let him sing a song for you. And um, although he can do both, um, you wouldn't want to hear me do both because something would suffer. <laughs> He's got video. That's right. <laughs> yeah, downtown. He was trying to teach me how to play slide. And it was like, yeah, I got two notes down. <laughs> and he said, that's at least as good as George Thorogood. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I could play that all night. <laughs> all right, what you gonna do for the people, Ben? I was thinking, um, how about a uh, retreat? I was thinking maybe together with that. Yeah. How about for Karen Lovely, everyone? <laughs> The first time I ever met with Karen to run her songs, go over the songs, I'd been listening to her CD, listening to her CD, and then we, we met for rehearsal. I don't know if she knows this story. We met for rehearsal, and I had already listened to her stuff so much I didn't need any charts, anything like that. And then she started to sing, and we're in this studio, and her voice just started to like bounce off the walls and fill the room. And I, I, I didn't th think I needed my sheet music, but I, I had I had to pull it out. I'm like, all right, I can't focus. Your voice is so pretty. You guys are so lucky that, you know, we get intimate. That's my favorite. You never I told me that story, Ben. I don't know saying. It's when it's just, you know, when there's not a whole band getting in the way of her voice. I try to stay on the way with the guitar, so. All right, I'm going to go sit over here or lean against the piano or something. It looks a lot like mine at home, but without the glass. So here's a song I wrote. I love this song too. I, uh, it's always more fun to write love songs about other people's relationships. <laughs> now, when I wrote this song, I thought I was writing about my brother, my brother's relationship with his girlfriend at the time. But the thing about writing or creating art is it's always self-reflective. So when you're writing something about someone else, you're really just writing about yourself. And uh, so this one's called Retreat. Watch 
here tonight. In fact, we both have CDs and uh, we're hoping that you'll all take them home with you so we have enough gas money to get to know. <laughs> yeah. uh, we hope you'll all take the CDs home because the music is so good and you get thousands of hours of listening pleasure and as you hear the songs without any mistakes, <laughs> you'll remember this beautiful night that we all had together here. All right, so I think we have one more in this set. Uh,
because then the bar is going to be open and everyone's going to storm for the bar. Uh, all right, let's do uh, Under the Midnight Sun. So, uh, yeah, I love this tune. I, I, I've spent a lot of time in Iceland. It's one of my favorite places. Of course, apart from Amen. <laughs> Which way's up, which way's down? Hard to tell where you're spinning around. I got lost in the now. Living life on the run under the midnight sun. Been a contender, been on the ropes, been on the Ha <laughs> ha 